here we are, and welcome to our post-Thanksgiving episode of the Friday Night Movie Podcast. And yes, you know, our last episode was all about what we were thankful for, thankful for in pop culture, thankful for any trouble. But like most days after Thanksgiving, we're going to complain today. And this is our ungrateful episode, things we are ungrateful for. But we, we decided to use the word ungrateful because ungrateful is a better description of how we're behaving. This isn't, these are what I would say is not baseless complaints, but they are like, we are jerks for making these complaints. Would you agree, Lily, in that distinction? Sure. Yes. I can always get on board with the four of us being jerks. Right. Oh, and and we have with us the the most ungrateful person I know. Um, (laughs) uh, The great Josh crew is back. Um, the most, I mean, probably the most appeared guest on the show uh, um, is here, uh, a, a last minute edition. But he 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 was able, he was answered the call. We knew we were doing this. We needed him to we needed him to do this. Be- Becky, how about you? Do you do you do you appreciate that fine line between calling this an ungrateful episode that we are directing the criticism at ourselves as well? No, I think it's a very important distinction because you know, in so doing this episode theme we must recognize how spoiled we are and yeah because so, we're going to start off with your complaints about thanksgiving and, becky and do you, and do no i'm not i am not airing any i no, your i'm not i'm about, not going no wait you're okay. not gonna so just so everyone knows becky is not going to talk about how not no. once or twice mom set her kitchen on fire yesterday <laughs> no no i'm going to complain about all that don't worry i'm going to talk about how ungrateful i'm from all that i will not Oh yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I have some thoughts. Yeah, I have a few so, things. First of all, Thanksgiving was fantastic at at our mutual houses. It we, kicked off with Becky's pizza party, with the cheese board party the night before. Uh, with cheese Arab, board. Arab, 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 Arab Thanksgiving because this is a Jewish had, Thanksgiving. We had a lovely day with Good Company Donuts. We had a great cheese and cracker platter that Allie put together. Did and, we? Because I missed all of it because I spent four and a half, five hours making one pie. Because I guess. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, it took me a really long time. It actually took me even longer. It actually took me even longer than that. I'm not counting the hour and a half I put in in the morning. I'm just talking the like from the time we stopped podcasting until I finally left my house. That was four and a half hours. Five and a half hour pie. I did not call you the pumpkin. Error. Yeah, no, <laughs> correct. No, I had to redo it. Pie? This was the pie. I had to redo it. It was there was a major user error, and what I had happened? to redo miss, my. I made a challah last week. I forgot the oh, eggs. I, 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 wanna, <laughs> I, I did not realize <laughs> until it was rising, and I was like, "Damn, this is a weird challah." And I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit, I forgot the eggs." Uh, I went back. I put in the eggs. I, I read once it was it. rising. <laughs> once it was rising. I, I have to say, it was like a marble egg. Like the look of it was kind of weird, but it tasted fantastic. I want to be clear, Becky. I doubled down on my mistake. Becky said for Thanksgiving, she was making a salad and a pumpkin pie, which I was. I was like, that's great. That's that's so lovely. Um, Becky arrived though, in fairness, with four items. One was the salad, which, as usual, Becky makes the best salads of any person I've ever met in my entire life. Um, and this is someone who likes salads less than he likes. First of all, first of all, why are you eating salad on Thanksgiving? I, yeah, Becky. You, I need to, no, no. you need to have something a little refreshing. Becky, no, no. you had this one of my like, salads, you'd know. Becky, this, this is like when, you know, uh, I'm going to tell you go why all you can eat Chinese food when we were like 15 and 16 in Montreal and you would have the soup. Right. <laughs> that's, that's what that's like. You I make my salad. Filler. I make my salad as an homage to cousin Vanessa's parents, Robert and Susie, who hosted me for Thanksgiving for the better part of the last decade. And they are very French in their um in their in their dinner party okay. style First of all, and you're start off every meal French into Thanksgiving. So uh-huh. you already lost. Because I lived in Berkeley for a decade. <laughs> Berkeley is all about the California French hybrid with farm to table produce. I mean that's Did like you listen the... to what you just said? Yeah. No, yes. but I'm grateful for all This is the only reason I like Thanksgiving. Becky, these these are the French. reasons that I'm on board with Thanksgiving. I... You just mentioned French farm to table and some other stuff in there. 
Yeah. <laughs> Be- yesterday, <laughs> Becky Becky just went around the ki- five days in Berkeley, and Becky was running around the kitchen yesterday, just reheating everything because reheating the stuffing because she was afraid there was salmonella in it. Well, there. Okay, we're not. That's the part we're not getting okay. into. But I had so, very good reason to be afraid. I, I had a lot of stuff, right. and I'm fine. Wait. So Becky arrives though with four dishes. She arrives with the salad. She arrives with. Um, an incredible pumpkin pie. I mean, I ate two pieces of this for breakfast. So however long it took Becky to make the pumpkin pie, it's the best pumpkin pie I've ever had in my life. And then, I mean, incredible. And then and she made the filling herself and everything. Like this is. I, like, I roasted the I roasted the pumpkin myself. One, I, I, there was one, this was not from a can. This one, was very. One dish. One dish though was just <laughs> a, a, a tray with just chunks of pie crust. So one of the. <laughs> One of the dips, that's one the of the kind, that's my kind of pie. Just I'm just here for the crust. crust. No, but it's it's crust. Crust. Like my <laughs> that's my dream pie. It wasn't a crust. Just a crust. It was just broken pieces oh, of crust. That's my dream. Well, I oh broke God, it into pieces knew. so people could take pieces, okay. so they would know what and to do. They could dip it, and then and then the third thing she brought this thing called the Antoine Gratin, uh, or the D'Artagnan, whatever it is. It, 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 I did it. That was mom. Mom made that. That's, that's, that's what lit my favorite dessert. That's what lit my kitchen on fire today we're still cleaning up the mess <laughs> so so to be clear i i did have a user well, error a in making my five thin... hour pie it's a wait isn't it your kitchen on fire apple? making salad everything's wrong <laughs> 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 ah, becky you're one of the best cooks i know but this you're episode like, is my, making my you look French like you're bougie... either very like in need of a nap or so possibly in Robert and Susie Thanksgiving, there's always a salad course first, and you have a frise with persimmons and hazelnuts. Okay, Becky so that's how we like. Becky was so tired at the end of the day; she f- started to nod off while she was cleaning up. Like I saw her carrying things, and she's just dropping things. I'm just I'm very tired. Okay. okay, but 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 essentially, I had a problem with my with my initial pie, and it. We, we just ended up being a crust. It was just a crust. It was like a melted, shriveled crust, but it was very delicious. And then I and then I had to read, I just start everything over from the very beginning. So it took me about five hours to make this pie, which in the end, I am happy to say it was worth it because it was a hit. So yeah, it was, feeling very proud. Feeling yeah. very proud of that. Um, but ungrateful for listen. When mom says, let's try something new, or I have an idea, she loves or, this is going to be an experiment. All things I heard, you're like, nope, nope, nope. And let me tell you, you know, the there was a moment where I walked into the, into the kitchen. I said, mom, my entire kitchen is filled with smoke. And she goes, no, that's steam. I'm like, well, where's the steam coming from? Because it looks like smoke from my oven. That's what happens opened, when you cook salad. In the oven. <laughs> and she, no, this was her, her tartatin, which, God, you know, God bless her. I have a question. Why question. I, tartatin I, I, and, at Thanksgiving? Like, right. <laughs> you're barking up the wrong and tree. Tartatin. Who you're are barking you? up the wrong tree. I have a question. So between the two houses, there's three ovens, correct? Correct. Yes. How did both the pumpkin pie, the salad, and the tartan get cooked in Becky's oven? What else was in Shai's oven? One turkey. To be clear, green the, beans the... with some onions and mushrooms. No, no, no. Like that's what you eat on Thanksgiving. We had we had we had, we had no. onion soup mix. We had, we had, we had stuffing. Yeah. We had mashed potatoes. We had uh, very, I mean, very long carrots. Very aggressive carrots. Very aggressive. Very, very hairy. Allie loves aggressive a, a, a serious carrot situation. Child oh no, Lily! It was wild. No, no these no, were these giant were adult carrots. These adult were... carrots with these like are... full heads sure. of carrot top a- hair. And Allie's yeah. eating all the carrot. She's not leaving any carrot behind. No, no it was. She loves the. the in... She loves the, a carrot. Situation. The carrots were amazing, but they were the equivalent of when the shrimp comes with the head on it. Like they, <laughs> like, they were. Okay, so. First of all, mom made an incredible turkey. The 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 Tam Tam crackers stuffing is Josh, you had it one year at our house. You and Stein, you don't maybe you don't remember it, but Stein I support things that have tam tams in it and related to stuffing. Okay. That feels very that feels good that, things. And then, that feels on brand for you for Thanksgiving. It feels but my frise and my mom's tartatin Your is just tartatin. too too fancy for you. Too fancy? Uh, oh. It's like the super bougiest of bougie Thanksgiving food. We're going to have the freezing. Um, 
Um, Ashwaya, how was yours? Where did you guys go? Where did you eat? Uh, what did you eat? Who were you with? We, we are in the heartland of, um, of Ohio here. Oh. And, uh, and my, my, my secret of Thanksgiving is I never actually make it to the turkey. I just want the sides. That's so smart. we well, you can people. always do turkey on day two. Wait a minute. That's exactly no, it. no, 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 exactly no. Right. I'm sorry. There needs to you be know. like that. That's too gluttonous. You need the homework. No, no, no. no. To go all, I, it's I, all I, Josh is smart about I run this. a turkey trot in the morning. You can have turkey all the time. Like, come on. It's all about the sides and they're glorious sides. It's like, you know, mac and cheese. Um, the, oh, so you don't do a kosher and, Thanksgiving. Oh, sure. Okay. Kosher Thanksgiving. I guess you don't do a kosher Thanksgiving. I love how hard uh, you just came down mm. judging Josh. I'm just saying. Well, Josh, we're well, not okay, just... So my, my eating of the sides Wait, does if I was going to do a dairy? Of, of dairy and meat. For oh. me, separation of dairy and meat. But then I realized, like, why do I want the turkey? Everything else is so much better. I see the evolution. That and feels buttery. like a very genuine one where you were just, you were honoring your traditions by not eating the turkey so you could have these dairy sides. And then it just evolved into why would you waste yeah, space and, on the turkey? And technically you can have dairy before meat, but why would I waste my space with the turkey? It's like wasting my space with the salad. Let me tell you, had you tried my mom's know. turkey good from turkey. last night, you might have felt differently. Good it was turkey. on oh, point. So good. But, I, mom, so it was, I, will say, I think it was the best. It was the best turkey mom ever made. Probably because it was raw in the middle, and you know, but whatever, it was great. But, and she cooked so, it. But yeah. I will say, uh, in 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 the grateful, ungrateful spirit, I was ungrateful originally for Thor: Love and Thunder, but I got Samson and my father in law to watch it post Thanksgiving last night, and I actually really enjoyed it. Oh, so I sobbed like a baby. I was watching that in an airplane and just. Just Thor, leaving. Love and Thunder. The yeah. ending? Oh, are you Did joking? You hear, the what? ending? I was just, I was a puddle. I didn't see it. I was, well, the I was very sobbing. Thor, Love and Thunder. Like, yeah. like my, my Miri actually turned to me, my five-year-old, almost five-year-old turned to me and said, Mommy, are you okay? You seem so sad. And she had to like comfort me because I was crying so hard at the end. It was so Josh, beautiful. Why were you so moving. grateful for it? I just didn't too many goats like, just too much it was just like screaming goats too much and then I watched it yesterday and I was like huh it's an hour and 46 so it automatically clocks in under two hours that's a win oh, yeah. oh it was that's an hour 46 uh, I felt like it was two and a quarter when I watched it it seemed like it was an hour and <laughs> it felt 46 like a then. very long movie it felt very long when I watched it uh anyway, okay. that's uh that, uh, okay, well, that's. I'm glad. Okay, let's start here now. Let's. We'll start with Lily. Who this was your idea anyway, Lily? What are you ungrateful for in this? I'm season? the biggest jerk of all of us. So <laughs> makes sense. Oh, uh, just wait. You're, you're just a <laughs> tough crowd. You're just a tough crowd. Um. So so this year, I mean, this is uh, we're so spoiled because not only did you guys have delicious food and a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving, but we also have gotten some amazing content this year. So it's very, you know, spoiled to complain. Yeah, this is one of my favorite years for movies. Right. But that being yeah. said, this year I was recommended two things that they weren't necessarily bad. I'm just annoyed that I watched them. At and the like person spend. who recommended, so you're ungrateful. Can you say who I'm, you're ungrateful I'm, I'm, to? Yes, yes, I'm ungrateful. And she, while she is a national treasure, I am ungrateful to Reese Witherspoon for <laughs> recommending this show that she produced, Surface, on Apple Plus. Wait, hold on. Apple Plus. Like, First of all, know about Apple Plus. Microsoft Surface. There's like one to two things that merit owning Apple Plus, and everything else is garbage. Right, and I fell in. I accidentally fell into the garbage pile, and oh, so. Oh. Sorry, I got. No, go okay, I got to ask you guys about this show on Apple Plus. After just remind me after. Severin, really love it. Have. What what no, Surface no, no. about? <laughs> what Surface it's the blind, about? It's the Blind Show with Jason Momoa. Where oh, no one like saw that. Master, That's canceled. Where the people like no, 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 but the people what? <laughs> like like he, they they canceled. like masturbation is a big part of that show. It's really oh, weird. Really? Why did you watch the show? No, I watched like two episodes. I'm like, why is this woman <laughs> masturbating in the middle of the show? Yeah. There's right? no one like, here. And, and what is it? Everyone's uh, blind but Jason Momoa? Is that it? No, there's, I, I got to look it up again. I Everyone's up. blind but then one is. kid is born that can see. It's, it seems like somebody took an idea and like accidentally ran with it. It epitomizes everything about Apple Plus. Right. It should have just Minus been a brainstorm. Minus Severance and Ted Lasso. Right. Okay. So. Inspirited. So and spirited. 
Okay. So Surface is re it's like Reese with if, if a book is written, it seems like Reese Witherspoon options it, which is <laughs> which is amazing. Cause she's she's amazing and she's picking some incredible content. However, it seems like maybe her company just like now takes every single book and makes it into a show or movie. Because <laughs> this You're, maybe the you book was good. Book. Right. Maybe this book was good, but it's the story does not evolve well i don't think on screen and it's about a woman who uh played by uh gugu i I don't know i'm not gonna pronounce her name properly um she's a great actress she was in uh the other reese witherspoon show um the one of the morning show um you guys do you guys know who i'm talking about am i yes but i don't know her name Gugu Mabatha Ra. And M- cool. Mabatha Ra, I think that's how you would pronounce that. And she's great. And it's it's a joy to watch her because she's excellent. But the story is this woman who has amnesia. She um ki- tried to kill herself by throwing herself off a ferry. And when she wakes up, she doesn't know anything about what happened. Oh, that's mom and dad it. were super into this show. And then at the yeah. end, were I remember them complaining. They were so annoyed. They were like, what? was this yeah, what were these episodes it, about it, in the end it's Nothing. actually a heist which is pretty cool but it just lost in so much mixed direction i remember like one of these stories yeah, that's that they said, so there's too much misdirections, misdirections. exactly they said there's too much like misdirection a, you're like i don't care who did the it reveal has happening. nothing to do with what you've been watching for like nine but, episodes well, kind of in the anyways it just in the it's not satisfying as much as you figure out that she didn't actually try and kill herself uh she's just a terrible person so and was actually trying to steal a lot of money then okay fine anyways but i don't think it was great so that's annoying the second one is my brother-in-law recommended this show called from again the title like what kind of fucking title is from her show on television already a bad show. About, wait it's about it's not even a title news? of an email like is it about that's what... news? spell what? from for us spell from f-r-u-m r-o-m <laughs> if it was if an it was orthodox F-R-U-M, show U-M, I'd, U-M, watch I'd be it. interested but you know it has uh what now i can't remember his name he's excellent shy you love him too uh mercutio john um, Luzamo? no oh no 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 um no, uh, oh no 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 the guy with the french name he's amazing from Lost. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Harold yeah. Perino. Harold Perino. Amazing. Harold, right. I mixed, Harold up, I mixed up my Tybalt and my Mercutio. Right. You know, right. Josh and I, by the way, we were the, o- the Tybalt opening. Tybalt and Mercutio? No, no, no. Are you kidding? No, we were the opening <laughs> scene characters who bite the thumbs in the I, night. We were. I play we remember. Tights, by the way. We're, we're, I remember going to see you, my mom making me go see that, but then we didn't have to stay for the whole play. We just had to watch the opening scene. <laughs> and the <little> <laughs> I still Classic. know the lines off by heart. Get out. Do it. Do, do it. Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. But do you bite your thumb at me, sir? And then we just wore black tights in front of the whole school and it was yep. uncomfortable. Yep. And uh, and what else about that scene? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Shoshana Weinberger played Juliet and Jonah Ravel played Romeo. And Adam Granik Unikowski played the apothecary or the priest. Are those the same guy? It's her birthday the other day. And it's yesterday. yesterday. Her birthday was yesterday. I, I missed my annual email to her. I'll email her today. Shout out to Shoshana. Shoshana uh, Weinberger. Juliet. Ju- these- um, Anyways, so he's great. Mercutio, Harold Perrineau is obviously great because he's great. But the show, it's like, maybe they thought, well, enough time will pass that anybody that watched Lost and is super annoyed about it won't remember. Or this is like for a whole new generation because anybody that watched Lost is too smart to watch this show. Not me. No, because... My recommended it to me. And so I've seen all of Lost, unfortunately. That's time I'll never get back. Well, that was and a great show. Come on. It, it was with the ending, Josh. The ending. Come oh, on. Fine. But the journey. It's about the journey. The, That's fine. The, the journey. Well, this show has so many things that are similar that it's hard for me. Because like having PTSD as I watch it, I'm like, oh. Oh, that's like a lost thing that they did. The premise is interesting. I'm going to give it to you guys. It's, it's, I, you know, I don't know about Josh, but Becky and Shai could never see this because it's just way too scary for them. But this is sort of like a walking dead meets lost. So for people who are into that genre, it's cool, mm-hmm. but not it's terrifying like, to me. I was basically like, I, I don't like the story and I'm really scared. So this is a bad combination. It's really funny. 
um, a, a town. Josh where is if you, adding it to my queue right now. If you drive uh, into the town, yeah, zombie things scare me. It will. They're scarier than zombies. They're they're worse Wait. than zombies. These what creatures. platform can I see this on? Is this it like is Roku HBO. only? No, this is HBO. Wait, wait. So to be clear, you're currently selling this to I, I'm Josh. Just, I'm just saying that if you Josh might like it, if you drive into the town, you can't get out. Like then you're stuck inside. So if you accidentally go to this town, so it's one division. I guess, yeah, kind of. <laughs> and at night, these list? terrible creatures come out. Wait, so everybody this... has to hide at night, and they'll like eat your face off or whatever. That sounds horrible. And it's a family that two cars arrive on the same day, which never happens. And what? What do you mean? Like what does that two mean? Cars two cars are arrive to the mean? town on the same day because people will drive to the town, but it's only ever one at a time. Why? Everybody in the town dr- was in a different location in the United States when they got to the town. One was in what? Detroit. One was in Florida. Uh, they were driving oh, and they showed up. Oh, uh, so it's like, where are you from? Is that? I guess where you're from. Anyways, mm. it's 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 I, we watched the whole first season. It's really gotten off the rails on episode 10. Now I guess we're supposed to wait for a season 2. Also my brother-in-law was like there's only one scary scene in the first episode. Not true. Many scary scenes. I was like didn't sleep at night, so I'm very ungrateful for that recommendation. Oh, if you're into scary that. stuff though, maybe try it, but blah. Um those are mine. Okay. For now. Um oh, what I'm ungrateful for. I I'll, I'll just I'll go straight forward here. I'm ungrateful for seven of the 13 hours of Andor. I know I've talked about so annoyed with you about this. <laughs> and, and I and like, okay, the best act. This is not any- the planet with the Ewoks because you put a post recently, Shy, and I was like, oh my God, Andor is not Andor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Andor is Ewoks not Andor. We're going to be in this show. I different. Assumed different it show. was the same planet. No, it's, it's the name of the guy, Diego Luna. Oh. Yeah. So Cassian Andor. So it's the best acting of any Star Wars thing ever. Consistently up and down. They got all credible actors. There's no campy Star Wars bits. There's no I've got a bad feeling about this. Like any of the great lines and like and, and better or for worse, it's a yeah, it's it's like um it's like a bureaucracy Star Wars. And and, and I love that part. Like back in the old books. The politics of the rebellion were really interesting. I love the whole Mon Mothma and how she manipu- has to manipulate things in the politics. It, it, it's very, very good. But it's – and the same thing could be said for Obi-Wan, which was six hours long or eight hours long and could have been like three. Like there's a lot of extra stuff. And also we were trying to figure this out. So is that Andy Serkis just Andy Serkis playing a different character? Or is the yeah, guy we, that gets left in the about. prison going to become Snoke's, like, clone? What? They're completely unrelated. Come on. Completely You're being unrelated. way too hard on this show. This show so they awesome. thought it would just be fun to recast it, him? If this wasn't in the Star Wars universe, would this show even get made? Well, if, if it wasn't in the Star Wars universe, it would be The Expanse. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a pretty cool show. I, I, very, what did you I, like about it, Josh? The, the part, wait, all the part about the Gestapo was really good. That was really interesting. You guys are like the kings and queens of character development, and that's basically what this show is all about. This show is about like the I, evolution. To be clear, of all these I really liked it. I, I think it was just the happened. first three episodes. It got. I was yeah, really tired slow. when I watched, and I found it like incredibly slow. But once you get to the first, like the main, once you get to, mm-hmm. like, to the, the, to the first. Yeah, like to that first action, like that two episode action. Mm -hmm. After that, I and I understood what was going on, like who all the players were. It just took a lot of time for them to lay the groundwork for me to understand who each of these different people are. And but once I got there, I was really interested in the. I think it like the expanse, the politics of it, is what kept me interested. And similarly to the expanse, the way that you have the the main the main character, like Andor, is a great. He's a great main character in the end, and his growth and his arc is something I was very, very invested in. You know, in. That he, even though he dies in Rogue One, right? I mean, that's what well, here's makes the thing. it so... That's what's going to make it so interesting, because where you're starting now and knowing where he ends up in Rogue One, yeah. I'm like, how did he get there? Seeing where they start him off. And they, and they really do have him evolve in that first season enough that you can see how he's going to become the guy that's in Rogue One. And now I'm interested in really following his story. 
Like I'm, here's the, I'm rooting for him. Go ahead. What are his qualifications? Here, here's the thing, though. You like, and I texted this to Shia yesterday. I'm like, I'll have him send you a. They're recipe. trying to create. They're trying to create good shows within a framework of things that you know. So unless things are off in like the distant future, like the new Star Wars movies or the way distant past, which would probably be a huge risk on their part financially, you're going to have to find a way to use these characters and keep them interesting. And I think they're sort of like expanding out, but within the framework of things that you know. And this show is awesome for that. I, I, I am with you there. And what the other thing I like about it is that unlike the last jedi which goes right at things that you love and tears them down this just explores the world that doesn't have the force and doesn't have the the lightsabers and doesn't have any of that because these people don't know about it right like it is lost at this point and so therefore it makes sense in the continuity as opposed to trying to retcon in some sort of like i, I have um I have a challenge for Star Wars nerds. And I tried to look this up on Reddit, but I A, don't know how to use Reddit and B, don't know enough about Star Wars. I definitely did not watch this show because I don't care. However, I would a friend of mine, I, recommend no, I don't, you no, but blah, I do not have the patience for the amount you guys have said it's this slow. And I, anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is that I'm grateful for this show because a friend of mine in Spain in Canary Islands was watching and sent me a clip of the show and said, you have, he tasked me figuring out how a Canary Islands Easter egg was put into the show and it had to be by one of the writers. So then I went on a deep dive of who wrote these episodes and they're all Americans except for one British guy, but his episode, he's not even credited in the actual credits of writing he's just like added on so maybe he in the time it that. took you to do this research you probably could have just watched the show <laughs> well is it or so just... in episode one so check this guys out in episode one there diego luna is in some bar and mm -hmm. somebody goes to or I, it's hard for me to see the subtitles it says something about um a lady a lady from canary but she left several months ago, Canary. That's kind of weird. And then the next line is, but we have a lovely lady here tonight from Tahina. Okay, those are Canary. Tahina is a very important place in the Canary Islands. <laughs> this is too much of a coincidence, right? Tahina, Canary. And so my friend was like, oh my God, know. someone in Star Wars knows about the Canary Islands and put this Easter egg in. And I was like, just for you? Because I don't know who else in the Canary Islands is watching this show but you. By the way, the, the show cool. started with a plot about this guy looking for his lost family from Canary. Is that that's over? That part is. Well, it's been confirmed. They said they said that his your sister is definitely yeah, they went, dead. Yeah, they explained the backstory with his sister and all that stuff about how he got to where he is. So it's either a massive coincidence or somebody put in in the same like two second scene, Canary and Tahina. It'd be like, are you from the planet of I mean, could, New York? E. They and could use all of your girl from Manhattan here. Like, I'm ungrateful for this conversation. Okay, Sorry. so let's totally move, agree. Let's move on Sorry. to let's move on cool. to Becky. What are you ungrateful for? All right, so I am deeply ungrateful for the most recent season of Stranger Things. Like everything, I watched more. it. I watched the whole thing. Thinking it Even was the final season, <laughs> Becky's I genuinely, yes. I genuinely thought it was the final season. And when we get to the last lap episode, I was like, "What you the me. actual <laughs> f?" You're, You're like, telling me we have another like season after this? I was so upset. I just felt like it was it's a total a tool. bait and switch. Um, they were like, "It's the ending of Stranger Things." I, 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 will, I will say, in contrast, just to contrast that, I think Stranger Things gave us Millie Bobby Brown who is incredible. Enola Holmes. Enola Holmes. And Enola Holmes 2 is fantastic. Can I'm I watch sorry. it? I'm sorry. Please don't try and subvert what I'm saying and say that I'm somehow ungrateful for all of the wonderful actors that I get to have Winona Ryder in my life again, that I get to, um, um, you, you know, the wonderful child Mark actors. Hawk. And right, the two these, episodes that were four the, hours are right. four hours of the I'm worst not, TV ever. I just want to be oh. very clear. I'm ungrateful the for the thing. writing and the plots of season four. That has nothing to do with the people in it. I think they're wonderful. And I and I 
you know, relish seeing them. And I love all these new young actors it's brought into, into our world, but no, I am ungrateful for that. I mean, I don't even know how long. And the final episode was longer than like a feature Horrible. film, right? Wasn't it like two hours? And it it, was longer, there were multiple like episodes that were longer than it features. Was unre- unreasonable. Um, so I'm going to start with that one because I don't want to say my my second thing I'm ungrateful for until Shy goes because it's really an offshoot of oh. what Shy's well, so going to talk well, about. We're kind of bouncing around. My other one is I really did not like the end of season one of Loot. I think there are a lot of great things about that show. I love the chemistry. I love Maya Rudolph, period. I love Maya Rudolph and Nat Faxon in particular. Like, And I love Ron Funches. Whole whole <laughs> dynamic in that show is amazing. So there, But I, the decision, spoiler alert, the decision that like her big conclusion of, of these gaffes that are self-inflicted, these mistakes that she makes where she is with the climate billionaire and what is supposed to, which I, I loved the whole send up of the billionaires getting together to create these absurd fixes for the world, but it's really a way of just billionaires getting together. But then her like big conclusion is she's going to give all of her money away. Like she's giving everything away. Uh, she hasn't really learned anything. Yeah. Like her, her and like, and he's giving it and, and, what if she decides to give it away wrong? Like, I like is the idea that all the people around her. I, I, I just, I found it so such an annoying kind of pandering thing for what was otherwise a, a pretty enjoyable show. Like an, an enjoyable show. I, I, I like. I hope they figure something else out with that. I mean, I kind of, you know. Anyways, that that ending was really annoying to me. But there's there'll be a second season, so I will watch and see what happens. Um, and, and my other thing I'm ungrateful for, and sorry to target it at loot because I really enjoyed watching it, is Maya Rudolph's, Maya Rudolph's fantastic in it. And I, and I think all the male side characters are so funny and so wonderful. But the two, the two women on the team... Rhonda I, and Emily, I don't even they're just not not great when you compare them to the way that Nat fa- like Nat Faxon and Ron Funches and the guy that plays her assistant they're I just Joel Kim it, they're so disappointing in comparison I just don't yeah, understand why those characters have- aren't MJ characters. Rodriguez as Sophia who's yeah what do you think of Sophia I think she's a definitely a more interesting, well-rounded, better written character. But she is, um, but she is also but sort of the no fun character. Like she's, she's the, no fun, the right. no fun character. She's the foil to Maya Rudolph. I get it. She has to be the the opposite. But and and then all the other, all her ex friends or whatever are pretty terrible women. It's not looking great yeah. for women on this show. Yeah, that's kind of my point. So none of the, none of, none of the women Luke? really evolve uh, very much. What, this conversation really makes me think that I'm ungrateful for all the content out there because I have never even heard of this show. Don't know where it is. Can't understand. <laughs> Apple you Plus. Guys have the time to watch this. Apple Plus. Like, Apple Plus. Really how, shit in the bed. This is, this is so deep whoa, whoa, into whoa, the whoa, crevices of like content out there. Never it's like this is too much. So I'm all ungrateful. Right. So it's it. too too far into the calculations so, so, for you. So you know what? We need another Star Wars show. That's what we should get. <laughs> Listen, uh, I, there's lots of things that I'm watching, get, but that is too at, at this At this rate, we're going to get a Lobot show. You remember Lobot? The guy who's the security bald guy from Best But I think I saw really, preview honestly, for Luke and was like, honestly, I don't even know where to find it. Diego Luna is just so wonderful in the show. I was really happy to watch him for how many episodes? 12, 10, 13? Oh, how Jesus, many were there? 12. Wow. Like, 10? I don't know. I loved watching him through the whole thing. I don't And they had the guy from guy. Chef in it. That guy's yeah, awesome. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from yeah. Chef. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the, that, uh, that's the Evan, Star Wars show move. Throw in Evan someone Moss. relatively recognizable off yeah. him. That guy's just, such a great actor. What, who is it? The cousin. The cousin, the cousin. Cousin from, oh, from, oh, from, oh, from Evan Moss. From the bear. He plays a guy yeah. that you're not sure. Oh, the bear. Sorry, bad. Not Jeff, the bear. And is Jeff bad. is the John Favreau movie the from the bear. Cousin from it. The I do love Chef the John Favreau movie. By the way, that is uh, <laughs> very rewatchable. Ah, it's a cute movie. Well, it's a different story. It's a different okay. conversation. I have ha- feelings. On who that. else has things they're ungrateful right, for? I have like a whole list of. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Why? Like how you started this off being like, I don't know what I'm going to say. Uh, we gave. Uh, well, I've had time. We to riled them up. Here, here's riled a, here's, a, up. here's a top of my list. I think this is us ended this year. I'm really ungrateful for that show. I, I think <laughs> like, did that show even exist at this point? 
You just watch reruns of Party of Five. Very ungrateful it's for that. Show. <laughs> Does anybody in your household watch it? That you are. I'm pretty sure Danielle might have made her way through most of it, but I'm like, we knew the ending of that show from the beginning. Had to carry on for six seasons. Very ungrateful right. for it. Like the dad dies, and like yeah. everybody knows that. Gotcha. Uh, and I'm going to seem callous for this. I am ungrateful for all of the hoopla around the queen. <laughs> Do not understand band? why it's such a big deal. The band or the no, no, the Rhapsody? queen. The oh, queen like passed the away queen. this year. <laughs> we heard about it for a month. Oh, yeah. I had like a moment where I was like, Monarch. I need to take the beat. We're ungrateful for Freddie Mercury. What's okay. happening? I was like, no. what is, yeah. No, no, no. I was like, like is the like, woman on the Canadian that border. into a pop culture moment. I'm like, did anybody care about the queen? She, I got to have a, a two-year visa to any like Commonwealth country. Maybe that was because of her. Yeah, because she yeah. has the seat in the Canadian. Well, she doesn't. Who's the is Charles is the king now, right? So he has a seat in the Canadian Parliament. Do I care about the king? I don't. I don't. That's it. it right a king now it's sounds longer. worse than having a queen, though. Like a queen. Yeah, it sounds like, like kind of fun, but having. I just a queen didn't get it. Yeah. I just didn't get it. I don't get the whole royals excitement. Didn't get the queen thing. I mean, she's a passing of an of, of I guess an important figure. I, I think it was a month of coverage. I also like find it weird that we obsess over a monarchy, especially being the United States and everything like that. On the other hand, I I am happy to take sides in any of the arguments around the royal family. Like, <laughs> yeah. But do you think the coverage was the same in the states as it was in Canada? Because Canada is a Commonwealth. What do you think? I think it was just it's just sensationalized like, to the point of like, why is there so much coverage for this? But I wonder, Shy and Becky, was there that much coverage in the U.S. or after like two people were pretty oh, yeah. pressed over it? But I wasn't paying attention. It's not like I'm really, really into it. The, the, the I mean, I appreciate the significance of it, but the royals are just not my thing. Like I said, I'm happy to take sides in it because it's I don't also, care. Also, like the fact that like they don't, there's no inheritance the, tax. Like there's like the, the, there's the weird loopholes that, that they have with all the money. I just find is really the, hard to. The, the royals and the Kardashians are the same kind of thing for me. I've never watched the show. I can tell you a lot of my opinions. Sure, about both it. are not paying taxes. <laughs> I'm going to keep on going with Apple <laughs> Plus. Can I? Can you guys see the headline uh, that I pulled up about this C show? Read the headline here. This is from Esquire. I will keep watching C until they explain these masturbation prayer scenes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the only person that ever watched it. That's why that show was canceled. Jason Momoa, like, can you can you read this this subline here? Can you see oh. it? No. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I'll, I'll go. An orga- yes, an orgasm is a holy experience, but why does society in the new, I don't know, your, I, but is that a reference to the fact that like, this makes them but, talk, Whatever, you guys get the gist. Isn't that a why, reference why to the fact that, even exist but isn't that a reference to the fact that it wasn't like one of the weird things that people would tell kids is that if they masturbated, they'd go blind? Like, is in that Spain, what? they definitely oh, yeah. did. Oh. <laughs> so you have this society of, like blind masturbating mm, people is this like a religious like, cautionary tale historical okay Interesting. Yeah, it's just weird so i just wanted to follow up with that i have one more and I, i'm sure maybe you guys will disagree with me about this one shina we texted about this um i am ungrateful for the movie bros because i thought oh, i was seeing i thought i was I seeing hot take i thought i was seeing gay bridesmaids and it was going to be like totally slapstick and hilarious. And instead, no, I saw like Love Actually, but yeah. worse. And it was no, the it's a true I like rom com. A rom com to the worst. Yeah. Like, but like every every uh, it hits every rom com like you know beat that it's supposed to in like the rom com world. The last forty five yeah. minutes, I'm like, wait, I'm gonna have to watch this guy say. Like, it was just so formulaic. And right. all I wanted yeah, to see was is, a slapstick yeah. Judd Apatow movie. And, and that it's strange that you're in marketing. It was very much marketed as a rom com. No, it was not. It was like yes, it Judd was. Apatow was... making a movie, blah, blah, blah. And it was going to have all these funny jokes. on that because everybody else knew I it was going to be. I think it was be... very much marketed as this is a true rom com. I did not get yeah. that. I, all I, in my head, I was like, Judd Apatow, I'm going to see like the equivalent of The Hangover or Bridesmaids or Wedding oh, no, Crashers. No, no. And then it was you a hardcore miss- rom-com. But, but Judd yeah. Apatow didn't direct this movie or no, no, I produce know. it. No, they, he- they marketed it as a, I heard a whole interview with Judd Apatow. He was like, this is amazing. Really? It's hilarious. It's awesome. I, like, I, I will say it looks like the the director 
the director of this is the director of Neighbors and See, funny. Sarah Marshall and Neighbors 2. Is that right? Did Nicholas Stoller direct? Yeah, directed all those. Sarah Marshall. Do you say forgetting Sarah Marshall? Sarah Marshall, yeah. yeah see, Get him to the green. All hilarious Greek. movies. This was just a, a really a sappy different... rom-com. Yeah, this is a different And I was very direction. disappointed. We made Zoolander two. We also made the Muppets movie. This guy's. This guy's. Oh no, he, he's he didn't, awesome. He didn't make that. He didn't make that. He someone else did. I'm just looking at his IMDb. But I guess my point is, I did not want to see a rom com with that movie, and it was like the worst kind of rom com, and it went well, on it, for it, so it, long. It was. It was, it was quite was, long. It was long. You didn't it, want to see a rom com just because the genre of rom com, and you wanted to see something fresh. I assume not. I wanted something yeah, fresh yeah. and funny and hilarious. No, I don't think Josh has an issue with the fact that it's a gay rom com. It's the fact that it's a rom. It has nothing to do with it. It's that like it's he was a excited to see this movie. Like, like your expectation is that Billy Eichner would have like a crazy hilarious like. I thought it was going to be kind of. Yes. No. Yeah. I there was no no one pooed their pants. I'll say that in the movie. No. So maybe well, I, I, like, where, I see where you're going. But like. But mm. like no, I I I understood as being heavily marketed as, like, you know, making a great rom com. Like we've been missing some great like that for that. I genre. did not think it was a great rom com. I thought it was like the worst rom com. Interesting. Or I feel like I really went into the mentality of like, oh, let's see that. Let's see how good this is as a rom com, and it hits all the formula. The first like rom-com. thirty to forty minutes were fine, and then it just went. It just nosedive into has, everything like, I hate about the center comes. whole thing. Oh it my has, god! You know the it misunderstandings, was... the breakup, the comeback, the big final moment where there's the song yeah. and you got to yeah. win. If them you back. like rom coms, this was peak rom com. That was like exactly the, exactly yeah. what I did not want to see. Yeah. You're oh. like I'm in the mood to watch a rom com. I mean, I want to see rom com. I loved it as a rom com. You don't want to see how to leave a guy in ten days, or I hate I hate the genre, and this was peak genre. Got That's it. A, okay. I, yeah. So I think so it delivered on I its like promise. Now I like the challenge is to find a rom com for Josh to like. So it list, delivered on its promise for everything oh that Josh that heard something else in the marketing. Like Josh accidentally listened to like one podcast that misled him. <laughs> I, was, I just really, I really wanted to laugh, and I was like, "What the hell?" About I mean, especially because Billy Eichner was doing all of this promos about like this is a gay rom com. Yeah, like, really. Yeah, explicitly. I didn't listen to any of that stuff. I just heard a Joe Apatow interview. So you heard an interview with the guy who didn't even make this movie. <laughs> cool, that's what I thought. <laughs> That's I didn't know who Billy Eichner was until I saw the movie. Oh my god, dude! Have you ever seen Billy on the Street? Have you ever seen his? Have you ever seen Billy on the Street? Dude, and... Billy, I will send you Billy on the Street. Too much is... content. Well, when you no, get no, no, through no. Parks it's and like... Rec, he's in the final couple seasons. But but no, but Billy on the Street is absolutely bananas and funny. His show. Um, I will send you there. There's a lot of short clips, so you, you'll enjoy that. Okay. Um, with the things that we're ungrateful for, I feel like, uh, is anything else anyone want to be ungrateful for? Why well, I, I saw uh, the Kings of Leon concert that I went to see that sucked. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? We left early. Why? Because it's not 2007. Is that why it was terrible? Hey, 2009. Like, when really I'm like, all right, are you guys going to play your two songs? This sounds like a record that all your songs sound the same. You've made the same song over and over again since 2003. Mm-hmm. I'll leave it with that. Um, uh, okay, well, uh, Lily or Becky, anything else you want to close on? And if not, no. then we'll, we'll, go, we'll go back to positive. We'll end on a positive note. No, I'm good. I feel like I... All right. So, who? Um, uh, so, yeah. Who has any actual recommendations? We rewatched Murder Mystery with Adam Sandler last night with the kids and Jennifer oh, Aniston, and they loved it. They loved it. And we're gonna go see Glass movie. Onion with them today. They're really into murder it. mysteries these days. Wait, you do that for your children. You know that's made by Ryan Johnson, your mortal enemy. Yeah, but here's the thing. Oh boy. <laughs> Look, I like I have to participate in the world being a better place, and. I have to allow a world in which Ryan Johnson makes good movies as long and, and not Star Wars, where he gets to touch the main characters. Like I, I like if I can't do that, then I feel like we can't ask for more reconciliation in this country. I'm not I'm not going to forgive him or forget, but I also, if my kids want to see like a cool and my wife want to see it, I love going to the movies enough that if my kids want to go see it, we'll go see it. Plus, if they hate it. 
then that's also good because then they'll hate Ryan Johnson. It's a win-win for me. Josh, what about you? I've got a I've got a bunch of wrecks. So I just finished She Hulk finally, which I loved. Fantastic. It was awesome. Fantastic show. Um, I have a wreck for you guys, which I don't know if you've seen it yet, but the the new Fletch movie with John Hamm was super enjoyable and a great plane movie. Oh, oh cool. all right, that's cool. Thanks. Oh. It was it was just a Why fun that, under that's two a hour terrible trailer. Anything about the other Fletch. That movies? is a really really bad trailer though for that movie. Uh, I'm not saying it's a good movie. It was just a okay. super like laid back, plane. light, enjoyable plane movie. Do, do you need to know anything about the two Fletch movies that preceded it? No. Not uh, at all. He, he does the character so thing. well. I, I really like. Wait, is really Fletch a thing? Is Fletch two, a thing? Two that's... movies with Chevy Chase when we were younger. There's Fletch yeah. and Fletch Lives. Oh. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't. And I am. I have. Uh, so in Old Homes Two, we mentioned, which was awesome. Yeah, it was can awesome. a and, uh, I am. Or is it too much? In Old Homes Two, I think it's too confusing. Uh, I don't think it's just confusing. It's, it's, okay. it's, there's a lot happening. It's right. like Sherlock Holmesy. And then uh, I've started watching Bahubali, which I'm very excited. Oh, about. that's cool! Like uh, another um, uh, movie from India, right? Uh, yes, it is the precursor to call it like the precursor to RRR, with similar action stars, similar style, but like less big Netflixy show. I don't know. It, I'm about 45 minutes in, and it's very enjoyable so far. That's great. Cool. That's great. Um, I I meant to mention it the other, or I mentioned it in passing in our last episode. But Ali and I went to see the menu, and I was definitely confused. I thought it was the Triangle of Death with uh, sadness. Whatever. No wonder you didn't go to the right movie. You don't even know what it's called. Yeah, but the menu was totally my kind of dark yeah. comedy, very much in the vein of The Hunt and Ready or Not. Now I didn't like it as much as those movies. It had, but but the acting was great. The Anya Teller Joy is great. Ray Fiennes is great. Definitely a cool, dark, 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 dark comedy. Um, Beck. Awesome. Um, no, I mean I finished Andor. That was my big thing, and I and I really loved the final episode, and I'm excited for a new season of it. Like I I'm thinking it's awesome they're making another season. So Great. I've really come around on that. I, I definitely will watch another season. I mean, it's required. I, you know what? More Diego Luna in my life. That's a good thing. Look, also Star Wars. Well, anyways, I've done enough Star Wars for everyone today. Lily. Yes. Have you seen anything that you recommend? I just finished from. I don't know what to say. I can't. What about I the maybe... Bow season finale? Okay, I have 30 minutes what left. What is the Bow? Oh, I God. am 30 minutes left, watching. Right? The vow is... Insane. The fact that we have... The, Lily, the last 30 minutes are crazy. Multiple people we know who have been connected without knowing it to this cult is wild. That just goes to tell you how insane and prevalent it was. Back HBO documentary day. about the... Um, the cult, the Nexium, Nexium cult. The Nexium cult. Um, which was like a self-help type program that had offshoots that were uh, like sex slave cults. But at the same Jesus. time, it behaved clearly as a cult without like people realizing it because like never let you leave, which is clearly a problem. Um, and so it's all about the the uncovering of it and then the trial, bringing the people to trial, which is just wild. Um, but I have to say, like, I am a million percent recommending white Lily this season two it's just so it, it's so brilliant so i recommend that because i'm also watching it very cool all right well josh do you want people to follow you uh you can you won't find me posting very much at josh crew at twitter and becky or lily both of you lily? together can now follow us at Friday Night Movie FNM Sisters FNM Sisters on Instagram and your movie official sister I, account. I love following your account. Thank you. Thank really you. It is a fun follow. You're gonna get some food. You're gonna get some baby pictures, and you're gonna get some motivational maybe posts, and then some uh, new app drops. So like I, I don't you're, know what else you want. You're inspiring me. Should I just create like a fake account called Josh's Complaints and just post about things I complain about? Yes. Oh my god, I definitely follow kidding? that. <laughs> I think that's called Twitter, <laughs> but I would yeah, follow you. Definitely on Instagram. Want. Um uh and I will uh again a huge thanks to Josh for jumping on and doing this episode with us. Really appreciate it. Thank 
yeah. we are great. My whole family's yelling at me. They're like, what's happening? Are you on a work call? Why are you on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you and your wonderful family. Uh, Likewise, likewise. You can follow uh, me at Pancake Four Table, Pancake the Number Four Table, Twitter and Instagram. You can follow all the Friday Night Movie stuff at Friday Night Movie on Twitter and Instagram. Friday Night Movie Pod dot com. Theme song is by What Does It Eat. Have a hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving and uh, have a great thanks. weekend. Is it have is it weird that I'm having Friday Night Dinner with your parents next week? That is that is. No, I know it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> And the Wilkers. Coincidentally, they were invited to Shai's Bar Mitzvah. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, but you Josh, weren't. But this. you weren't, Josh. But I was not. So everybody at dinner will have been invited to Shai's Bar Mitzvah, but you. No, not all of right. the Wilkers. Noah is invited. Well, the, the rest of the Wilkers came. He's, re- he's representing. And they went to a hockey game. Um, they did. Uh, thanks Josh for doing. Josh wasn't yeah. invited to either. Le- Beck, I know you got to go hiking, so right. in the rain. Uh, I'll see you guys Becky, later. I do. Are, I you, do. are you hiking, or are you just making more salad for Thanksgiving? I'm hiking. You know why? Because on Black Friday, my family goes hiking and outdoors. That's another one of one of our birthday uh, traditions. Are you hiking to Best Buy? I'm going to the. <laughs> I'm going to the record store for record store day. All right, That's record I'm store going to work because yeah. there Friday is no Thanksgiving store. in Spain. So, <laughs> the one day a year they work in Spain. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Wait, when are you taking your siesta? Enjoy. Um, it's <laughs> over. I podcasted instead of napping. Everybody else in my ha- house is napping, but me. Now I will go to work. All right, so you're gonna go watch C. See you guys <laughs> <laughs> with the kids. Bye. Uh...